Happy New Year! Happy New Year, everyone! Hope you had a really great Christmas and a fantastic New Year's Eve and welcome to 2022! Yeah, it's great to be here in 2022. Uh, really looking forward to all the adventures we've got planned, all the new content, all of that kind of stuff. Hope you've got some really great uh, van-related gifts for uh, Christmas and uh, well been treating yourself as well because that's what life's all about isn't yeah. it so uh, yeah let us know in the comments below what you've had and uh, what you're looking forward to using really want to hear about all of those so we've got a few bits and pieces to cover off today and you've probably noticed already a new logo um, so we've got it obviously we but i think we've got a bit crazy haven't we we've kind of plastered everything with it now so sorry uh, new tile in the back which is always very good uh, obviously we are now branded we've branded ourselves um, and um, we've got things like stickers uh, which we've had printed mugs, mugs all that kind of stuff um, so um, uh, keep watching because this is the video where we do our first ever competition where you can win some stuff. Uh, so watch towards the end and we'll cover off the uh, the competition at the end of the video. So keep watching for that. So hope you like the new logo. We've done a bit of an animation as well uh, for our videos and things for the start. Let us know what you think. Hopefully uh, jazzes things up a little bit. Um, and as we said in our last video, I think when we were in the studio, it's probably slightly more sophisticated than a C and a T with a circle around it, which uh, was basic, let's be honest. It worked. So it worked. It, no, it got, us, got us... Got us started. Got us started, didn't it? So, uh, yeah. Um, but um, here we are then. New mm. logo for 2022. Yeah. So, yeah, we're really excited about that. Right then. Um, so, we said we'd cover a bit of our van history, didn't yeah. we? main content of today. Yes, you don't want to just tune in to learn about a logo. No. <laughs> so, um, you've probably seen on our social media um, the red van where we've been trying to guess the name. There's been some great um, suggestions coming out in there actually. Some we really probably good ones. could have given some more clues actually, rather yeah. than just think Leicester. Yeah. Um, think Leicester, think football. Yeah. Bear in mind, we didn't choose this name. Um, so think Leicester, think football. And the name was? Claudio Vanieri. Claudio Vanieri. <laughs> of course. <laughs> um, and it was actually from a uh, hire company uh, at the time in Leicester, um, in a place called Anstey in Leicester, which was called LTE? I don't know. Well, they don't, they don't run anymore, think, unfortunately, though. Um, yeah. So, uh, or no, LTH. LTH. Yeah. Um, and... Um, they were great. They had a couple of Callies, a blue one, and uh, the um, and Claudio. Claudio and uh, Claudio was only about six months old, I think, when we borrowed it, wasn't yeah, it? Okay. Six, six, eight months old, yeah. something like that. Um, an ocean. It was a one fifty manual, uh, and we went away and had a Good. Well, had three a, nights away. A really interesting few the nights. The first away, night was we? the most horrific night, pretty much we've ever spent in a van in our lives um, at a pub in the Yorkshire Moors in the car park. Yeah, and uh, it was rough weather really really rough well we parked it the wrong way round in the wind to start with so made a rookie mistake on the first night of borrowing it so parked it with the wind facing the front of the pop top i'm amazed it didn't rip it off um, and after that and quite swiftly put the pop, pop pop top back down yeah and then we're too terrified to put it back up again so we slept downstairs but the problem was um we we both had our heads towards the back of the van uh, as we normally would if we were sleeping downstairs first night in a camper van ever and something was in the boot underneath which was kind of hitting ding, the side of the ding, van ding, um, in the wind ding, so as the van was ding, rocking there was ding. something and it was it was the you know a bit of a zip or something we had no idea what it was we certainly weren't getting out to go and have a look around outside but we wondered if there was some trim which had come off or there was just there was something like horrendous it kept us awake nearly all night we ended up yeah. sleeping um like head to toe, didn't we? Yeah. Because I, I went and I slept, gave up. put my head the down the other end. Ding, noise at one point. So obviously <laughs> we woke up after that and went, yeah, this is great. Loving you know, it. we love, love Let's camping. get one ordered. Yeah. yeah, yeah, this is perfect. This is exactly why we hired one and it's proven to us that it's really good. 
Um, and uh, <laughs> as, we went... as we went to the, the what, this pub car park, I think we'll, we'll, we'll try and remember where it was. We'll pop it in the, uh, the, I think the comments below. In. I think it was a line. Something in. like that. If in the auction moors, that they say that you can have a shower and things in the morning. Um, what we didn't realise is that you're actually walking through the pub that's got a B and B, so people, people sitting at breakfast. their dining tables eating breakfast whilst you're wearing your pajamas, brilliant, <laughs> and carrying your yeah. towels. <laughs> yeah. Um, hey, but you know, um, I think it's at Blakey Ridge. Yeah, that rings a bell. Yeah, I think it's the line in at Blakey Ridge. I think it's the line in. Yeah. I will check. Um, Excellent food. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so after that, we took the van for a couple of nights at a campsite near Whitby. Um, had a you know, nice, nice time after that. Really, mm, nothing, lovely. nothing overly eventful happened. We didn't break anything on the van, and we managed to get it home in one piece. We did piece. actually sleep. Yes. We had some sleep yeah. those couple of we nights, did. so that really firmed it up in our minds of. Yeah. yeah, this is something we want uh, to do. And as we've been talking about it, you'll have seen a few of the pictures that we took at the time. We, we didn't tend to take videos at the time, so a lot of this is, is pictures and stills. So you'll have seen a lot of that just as we've been talking about it. But that obviously whet our appetite. Pretty much the next weekend after that, we ordered our first Cali. So um, we ordered it from um, West Yorkshire Van Centre uh, up in Cleckheaton. Yeah, um, well remembered. And uh, we went up there filled out a manual piece of paper where he wrote down all the options and everything. It wasn't all on computer back then. It was all kind of carbon copy paper and everything else. So filled all that out, sorted out a good deal for us, didn't he? Yeah. And that's it. We got our order in and then we started saving. Uh, and then we're going to do a whole nother video about, you know, how to save up to buy a California or you know, how to finance a California, all those different things. Um, but it basically, that was the starting point of when we started all of our saving to scrape together our deposit and everything mm. else for our first California. So um, that was fine. Order in. That was about October 2017, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, that we did that. So we ordered the van then. Um, everything swimming along fine. I was doing the kind of daily chat with the people on the Volkswagen website and Poor all that kind Luke of thing. Yeah, just, you know, pestering the them chap's and name. figuring something yeah. out. Yeah. So um, after... Uh, January time, uh, so January 18, we suddenly found out that um, our vehicle was, or our Cali had been made, but wasn't coming over um, to England. It had been held in a compound in Germany because some new software was required for it to meet the emission standards. Now, this might sound quite familiar because uh, it seems to happen a lot <laughs> with Volkswagen. Um, so um, we complained to Volkswagen at the time and along they, with lots of other yeah people along with lots of other people and they gave us some money as compensation um that's why we bought our first sonar speaker if you we remember we did yeah um and um they also lent us a california for about six weeks because uh, we'd sold our car at the time in readiness for our van because we were given a delivery date and everything and then suddenly it didn't arrive so when we complained to Volkswagen, first of all, they delivered an Audi Q5, didn't they? Which yeah. you, you couldn't that even get in. That was absolutely hilarious. It didn't have any side Me steps. trying to drive to work. Well, <laughs> driving it was fine. Me trying to <laughs> retrieve kind of, my work bag out of the That's kind of lift you in. <laughs> was not um, fine. <laughs> which is hilarious because <laughs> she's now got a discovery uh, with the same kind of problem. <laughs> yeah, but it's but got steps. It has got it's steps got and steps. a ladder. You can get and, into yeah. it, yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> so um, oh, I've lost my train of thought now. What was I saying? The Cali, the one that we yes, had delivered, so, so we so, had the Q5 first, didn't we? So our first actual Cali, uh, which wasn't kind of a rental, but was lent to us from Volkswagen for six weeks, um, was one uh, which was a 204 petrol. Petrol. Yeah, two-wheel drive, uh, DSG, but it was a 204 petrol. And for anyone that is interested, that's the same engine that they put in the Golf GTI. They've just detuned it to 204 rather than 230, which it was at the time in the Golf. Um, it's fair to say it, it, it was quite thirsty, and not really thirsty, but quite thirsty. So it'd do about 26, 27 mpg on a run and about 22 around town, which, you know, it depends what car you're used to driving, but I wouldn't have said that's really thirsty. Um, however, did. <laughs> it didn't really suit it. It wasn't talky enough, really, for the size of van. You had to really rev it. Sounded it sounded a bit hair dry, It sounded a bit hair dry, yeah. Opinion, if it had had a it? proper exhaust on it, it yeah, probably would have sounded would have okay. okay. Um, but it just didn't really suit yeah. it. Um, but it was what we were given. And, and we had six weeks of free Cali. We did. We did. Um, and we did a lot in that, didn't we? We, we did, did about three and a half thousand miles yeah. 
in that lone Cali and uh, we went well we were in the snow stopovers. yeah pub we did stopovers. A, a club rally kind of thing down in Dorset we during did. the beast did. from we the east we got to Tenby in it as well no no, a different no one. that was the next one okay. um yeah so, so we did we did a club club rally kind of thing yeah. down near Lyme Regis but down it, in Dorset it did have a, from the east in the snow it did have a, a a night heater so the same type of heater that we call the diesel heater it had a petrol version of that so it had a petrol heater and it all, it all worked just fine, yeah, just the great. same as a normal Kelly. Just when you turn it on, you didn't get that diesel tractor rumble. You got nice, quiet Purr. kind of purring. Um, but yeah, and then obviously they discontinued it. They yeah. did do uh, 150 petrol at the same time uh, in a manual, I think it was. Um, but um, I think when you look on the DVLA website, I think there's only about 20 odd that ever reached this country of that 204 petrol. Yeah. So it's a really rare Now what beast. we did do with that particular van we put a piece of paper underneath the cutlery drawer. So if the person who now owns that van um, has a look under the cutlery drawer, uh, there was they'll a picture know, of know it what camping it's named. in the snow, and they'll know what it's named because um, we did name it. Are we going to say what it's named? I think we probably should yeah, name should. it. Um, we called it Reggie, um, basically because it was we had it because of the vehicle registration details uh, Problem. problems. Yep. Yeah, vehicle registration yep. problems. So it was called Reggie. And to commemorate Reggie, our first kind of van, um, you may well have seen the little lion sort of hanging itself toy hanging itself um, in the handle in the handle in our uh, in Whipsy. Um, and that lion is called Reggie. <laughs> yeah, so that's Reggie the lion. We bought uh, Reggie with uh, Reggie the lion when we had Reggie, didn't we? Yes. I can't remember where from, but we did. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Reggie comes everywhere with us now, um, so that's a good memory for us. Yep. So anyway, um, they sorted out all of that registration I stuff. Um, we drove the Petrol California up to West Yorkshire Van Centre and waved it goodbye at the moment when we took the keys for our first Whipsy. Yeah, um, so which was actually called Tav <laughs> yeah. when we so, got it from uh, the... What was it? YD18 18. TAV. Tav. So if, if anyone out there is watching this and you've got YD18 TAV... Good on you. It's a great van. We loved it to Lovely. bits, and uh, you've got a cracker. Um, many happy memories. Yeah, many happy memories. In Whipsy the first, yeah. it's also even, known as it's, Tav. <laughs> it's even gone back to the factory um, yeah. and, and said hello again, and then come back home. So yeah. um, superb tour that. If yeah. you can get onto that tour, it's really good. Um, yeah. Well, we sort of grouped that into a visit to Amsterdam and yeah. uh, the campsite it's, just outside it's Amsterdam. It's seen some good sights that van. Um, so. Uh, obviously, um, we've called it Whipsy, that first van Whipsy. It's named after our favourite beach in Cornwall, Whipsidery Beach, uh, just up the coast from Newquay. It's in between Newquay and uh, Watergate Bay. It's quite a small beach, but we love it. The dog loves it. It's just a fantastic place. Uh, so we've named the uh, named the van after that, uh, and uh, hence the number plate. And it's kind of followed us with our new van. Mm. So, um, yeah. so Whipsy 1, uh, the silver one, or Tav, um, we decided we were going to have a 6.1, so we sold um, Whipsy 1 back in September, where are we, 20, 2020. 2020, placed the order for our new one at the same time, and... Um, and then we were vanless. We were vanless, <gasps> but we were kind of in and out of lockdown and all sorts, weren't we, so it didn't really matter too much. Yeah. Um, and we took delivery of our new one in... Late July, July of 2021. 2021. And obviously that's the one that you've seen on the channel. Mm. In, excuse me, in all the videos. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I, we haven't really um, got a, a really extensive van history. So it doesn't go back any further back than 2017, uh, apart from wishing we had one. Yeah. We were campers before we were. then, um, in we a were. tent. Yeah. Um, different camp. Uh, Pro probably the only other interlude in the middle of all of that, which doesn't really count because it wasn't in this country, was we mm -hmm. hired a camper when we went to Australia, yeah. didn't we? We uh, yeah, we went to Australia in August and September of 2019 and hired a van from Maui. Yeah, and it, it was, was the smallest. It was a proper van as well. Van it wasn't. They did. It, it wasn't a motorhome. This was a van. It was a Sprinter, wasn't it? Yeah, Sprinter. Uh, so it still converted. felt massive compared to a normal <laughs> California. <laughs> Brilliant um, though. Loved but it, it. But yeah, it was good. And it felt it, was... it felt kind of like home because yeah. we were used to camping and going to campsites and all that kind yeah, of stuff brilliant. with a van so it was, it but it had an great. external barbecue point on it didn't it? an external amazing. slide out barbecue on the side it was 
yeah. really good. You did yeah. kind of end up with a bit of sort of sausage grease splattered down the side of the van if you if you weren't careful. But it was, it was an amazing yeah. invention that was, wasn't was. it? Well. Yeah. So that's a bit of our van history. Um, hopefully, you've got a bit of van history as well. Let us know in the comments below if you. Uh, if you're on your current California, if you're waiting for it, if you've had them before, if you've had other vans before, if you've had a conversion before, you've got a conversion now, maybe you're in the middle of building a conversion. Going Let for us a grand. Know. Yeah, maybe you've gone for a grand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let us know. Uh, we want to hear about it. And uh, we love everything uh, camper related, camping related. So, yeah, good to see what you've got and uh, what you're looking forward to. Yeah. Right then, competition time, I think. Competition, the first proper in inverted commas, competition that California time will have done. Exactly. So. So don't don't worry, we're not gonna give away one of the projectors or anything like mm. that. It's nothing crazy. I don't um, think they'd be worried about we, that. We, I, think they'd, I think they'd be I'd quiet. be worried about <laughs> that. Yeah. No, we, we, we've decided to start relatively small because we don't know whether there's a kind of a, any kind of desire for any merchandise, any kind of, you know, T-shirts, polo shirts or any of that kind of stuff. So we're gonna start small and we thought, What's the best way to start small? Give the stuff away. Yeah. <laughs> so let's have a competition. <laughs> now, what we've decided to do, we, we thought long and hard about what kind of competition, you know, what's the closest, you know, mileage that we sold TAV with or, you know, any of that stuff. But no. you know, thought, no, best one to do and probably the funniest to do is a caption competition. Everyone loves a caption competition. So in a moment, we're going to put on the screen a still uh, and we're looking for you to uh, comment on the YouTube video with your entry to our competition. We're going to run it until midnight Friday the 7th of January 2020, 2022. 2022. Uh, so it gives you a week, uh, just under a just week. Under a week. And we're going to announce the winners. So we're going to pick two winners. Sarah's going to pick her favourite and I'm going to pick my favourite. And we're going to announce the winners on our Facebook, Instagram and Twitter pages by noon the next day, um, so Saturday the 8th. Yeah. And you're going to win a California Time mug and a California Time sticker. Um, so we will get these posted out to you. And there, that's not a sticker that's stuck on the mug. That's <laughs> properly printed there. Yeah, just you, kind of thinking that as I held them. that up there. You can wash it's, the mug. It's not just stuck on. <laughs> No, no, it's proper. It's proper. Yeah, yeah. Proper job. Proper. proper. Um, so, yeah, we'll get these uh, posted out to you, uh, lucky winners, and uh, good luck. Um, come up with some uh, some funny captions for us, and uh, we'll pop the image up right now. What do you think they're thinking, Will? They're thinking, are they only going to give us a mug for this? Hi, right, welcome back. Okay, <laughs> you can always pause the video at that point, can't you, and just uh, go back and have a think. But um, we, we, we looked at loads of images and tried to come up with something which is going to be amusing for it. But uh, yeah, hopefully. That's the best we could come up yeah. with. So uh, hopefully you can come up with hopefully something. Hopefully you can come up with something decent for that. Yeah. And uh, do let us know as well if, um, uh, if you do fancy any merch, uh, so any t shirts, any kind of hoodies, or any of that kind of stuff. Because we are starting to think about that. We've got some other kind of main t-shirt logo designs and other bits and pieces in mind. We've already had people requesting, haven't we? Yes. Practically throwing money at us to do a <laughs> I've got a little draw t-shirt. Um, which, you know, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. that's he's, fine. He's yeah, we quite quite yeah, like the idea of that. Yeah. We, we just need to yeah. get on to that. Yeah. But do let us know because um, we are interested in doing that kind of thing if, uh, if you wanted to. So yeah. we don't want to force it down people's throats, but... You know, we don't do this to make money or anything like that. It's just for fun. So, um, if it's fun and you like it, then and it let is us good know. fun having a pile of stickers turn up in the post that you've just ordered with your logo on it. It's it, great. It is, it is good fun. <laughs> when you when fun. you're sitting on a Teams call. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Um, so I think that's us. That's it. Done for so, today. So happy New Year again. Happy New Year. Happy 2022. But here's to lots of travels. Wish there was something in there, but there's not. Here's to lots of travels for 2022. And, <laughs> yeah. And um, good, good times to come. Good times to come. Cheers. Bye. See you soon.